everybody, welcome back. <laughs> Folks, you know my guest tonight as a stand-up comedian and a correspondent on The Daily Show. His new film is Confess, Fletch. So what do we know about this victim? Like we're gonna tell you. Laurel Dilton's from Worcester, was living in Alston with two roommates, worked at a Cambridge cafe as a barista. We're telling you. Miss Goodwin was pursuing a career in the art world. Hmm. Interesting connection. Well, I either just walked into a frame-up or uh, somebody from my past is trying to get revenge on me. Who hates you? <sighs> Besides Chris. Well, I did put quite a few prominent people away when I was a very famous reporter at the News Tribune in Los Angeles. I looked into your criminal record. And? Bad check charge. <laughs> Two contempt of court charges, number of non payment of alimony charges. 100% of most of those were dismissed. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Roy Wood Jr. <laughs> Nice to see you again. Good to see you. And I'll just start off, apropos of nothing, you're mm -hmm. always taller than I think when you come on here. That's because on The Daily Show, Trevor be making my chair short. I was wondering, does he do that thing where his yeah. chair's a little bit higher than everybody else's? Yeah, but it's good, man. It's good. I'm blessed to still be working. It's good to be back. It's always Congratulations good to, to a black man on the first week of the new job. Good to see Lewis exactly. over there doing Lewis the damn Kale, thing. The Late Show Band. Which killing it. Absolutely killing it tonight. I said new job smile. I know that. I recognize the new job smile. I know the new last job. time you were here, it's been too long. It was 2018. Yeah. Uh, ain't, ain't a lot happened. No. <laughs> how, have you, how, have you, how have you been? My life now is therapy and multivitamins. What, did one it, come it, first? And, and the vaccine. But if, if, if therapy or multivitamin can't solve it, I don't know what I'm going to do. Wow. That's been my plan right now. It's just they, like, you know, during the pandemic, everybody started drugs and experimenting, and I might circle back to crack, but for now, <laughs> multivit... You know what's really messed up about multivitamins? It's the ultimate in American laziness. Because it's, it's basically, you don't want to take... If you took all the vitamins, you'd be straight. You'd be like, I don't want to take all the vitamins. Give me a little bit of every vitamin in one vitamin, <laughs> and then I'll take that vitamin. The ultimate laziness of Americans, if you just ate a f vegetable, you wouldn't need any of the multivitamins. Yes. Also that. Also that. But it's been fun. It's been fun trying to figure all this stuff out, all these new concoctions and stuff that's been coming out during Wait, the pandemic. I don't, of, I don't, big, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what an elderberry is. What, when did that... You can make wine from it. I know, elderberry wine. You can do that. I went to school. I thought we covered all the berries. <laughs> Straw, rasp, blue, etc. Uh huh. Black. Yeah, black. And of course, I had. I forget black. <laughs> but elder just came out of nowhere. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll see what this elderberry is. It's about. older than the other berries. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what more? What more do you need to yeah, know? <laughs> But you're, you, you like the therapy, because I'm a big fan of therapy. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been a really good journey, you know, to be able to discover, to pay someone money to discover who in your circle is also not paying people money. <laughs> All therapy do is show you everybody in your life who ain't going to therapy, and then somehow you become their therapist. Like, you start using the tricks you learn. Th you know what you should try. What you need to do is find your attachment style and unpack that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, also, I apologize. There's a little rasp in my voice. There's Why are you so raspy? Strip club with T Pain in Hawaii. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go back. You were at a strip club with T Pain in Hawaii. When? When would this happen? This is a couple days. I can't be telling you that. All. <laughs> I don't. It was I'm not... about a week ago. Okay, about, about a week, a week ago. ago. Why would your throat be raspy after going to a strip club? <laughs> I can't be telling you everything, man. I can't tell you everything. Everybody. I've never been invited into that room. Well. The first step is to get on T-Pain's podcast and build rapport. Okay. That's I idea. Shout out Nappy Boy Radio. And then, when you're just out in public at random times, T-Pain appears like the strip club wizard and goes, it is time. And then he takes you... Were you in club. Hawaii and he just found you? Yeah, or did we were... you go to Hawaii to go <laughs> to his 
this event. No, no, no. We were both doing shows in Hawaii, and we okay. are cool. We're both down South Brothers. And so he came to the show, and after the show, I was just like, where do you want to go? And I was like, to bed. And T-Pain said, no. <laughs> and so here we are. And hence, and hence yeah, the rest of so, the you know, voice. things happen. Okay. Well, yesterday was Labor Day, and you've got uh, your own podcast called Roy's Job Fair. Yeah. Where you talk to the, the regular folks out there about... Yeah. Different industries about their jobs. What is, why'd you want to do that? So I did morning radio in Birmingham for 10 years. And one of the things we did in the 9 o'clock hour was we would just invite listeners. If you were working somewhere that's hiring, call our show and tell us so that people who are unemployed will just know. It was kind of like an audible Craigslist back in like wow. 03, 04. And so when the pandemic hit and unemployment rise, I was trying to figure out a way to do that again. And the station I worked at in Birmingham had already fired me, so that wasn't an option. <laughs> So podcasting we go. And it's been it's been great. You learn about so many different industries from preachers to sex workers to politicians, all the way to school teachers and students still in their laptops. And what started as <laughs> what started as something that was just to legitimately help people know that they are not alone in their employment journey has turned into something where just a community of people call in and just share what they're doing and it might be something that you want to do. And I think for as long as we live in a world where we know that we're not alone and struggling, you maybe can make it to tomorrow. So that's what the podcast is about. That's a little therapy right there. That is therapy. Yeah. All right. You have, you have a six-year-old son. This is back to school week, mm. you know, after, after Labor Day. Mm -hmm. What are, what, what is your, I mean, assume, assume your boy's going into first grade? Yeah, first yeah, grade? get him out the house. Get how's him out. That, how's that going? Get out, get out this house. Yep. You know, it's, it's bittersweet because, you know, these, you know, these moments with your children when they're six, seven, eight, for me at least, I know these are the last moments as a father that I'll be able to help him with his homework. And I know <laughs> that eventually I'm just gonna have to say goodbye. <laughs> That's why I'm kinda, I'm kinda rooting for CRT and all that stuff. You know, take all that stuff out the history books so he can get, he'll graduate at age nine. You know they're taking history out the books. They're starting to take science out the books. At this point, a high school grad gonna be 11 years old, and then <laughs> I can help my son with his homework. If if you now, take science altogether out the book, you have. I'll sign me up. Well, you you have some science credentials here because I saw th we got this uh, this tweet from you here. Okay, this is uh, Roy Wood Jr. X Jedi, which is your Twitter handle. It says sixth grade. I forgot the science fair was the next day. 10 p.m. in a panic, I find a loaf of molded bread my pops forgot to throw out. Mm -hmm. Made a study on mold, moisture, and air. Got second place in the school, <laughs> fifth in the city. Bread so moldy, I was praised for, quote, conducting weeks of research. You're welcome. That's good. Winners win, bro. That's good. Winners now, win. when did people find out? Like, did you ever confess to this? Just now. Roy. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> the new movie, Confess Fletch, is in theaters and on demand September 16th. It's Roy Wood Jr., everybody. We'll be right back.